Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and today I've got 10 preview cards from Double Masters 2022 for you. It's a land cycle that I would call the strongest common dual land cycle ever printed. What are they? Why are they so strong? And how can you expect to use them in Double Masters 2022? Well, let's get into it. Let's kick it back to October 2005. Wizards of the Coast comes out with a set called Ravnica City of Guilds. This set would really revolutionize magic forever. It was immediately clear this was a game changer. The 10 guilds and their names representing two color pairings, a mechanic for each guild, but most of all, one of the things which always stood out to me were the cycles. Whether obvious, like the guild mages, subtle, like the guild aligned artifacts, or mana fixing, like the rare shock lands and common signals, this set gave every guild its due. And while all the Bali who began about the rare shock lands, and rightfully so, there was another cycle lurking just under the surface, which had very little traction initially and went on to be an all time great the 10 Ravnica Bounce Lands. These were originally printed at Common in Ravnica City of Guilds, and all of them are back in Double Masters 2022, as Uncommons this time. They also have spiffy new versions to boot. I'll show those off a little bit later. But first, a bit of history. These were called the Karoos in Side Wizards, modeled after the vision cycle of lands containing, well, Karoo. Those lands were like these for one color, but with one big exception. You had to return an untapped land. That's a huge power level change, because it didn't set you back an additional turn worth of development to play one, on top of already entering tapped. And that was all it took. These lands showed up in standard, have gone on to be commander staples, and in the Ravnica limited format were first pickable. Yes, that's right, you would pack one pick one these cards. Why? Well, for one, they fix your mana in a format where you would routinely be three or more colors. But even more important than that, every one you play essentially says draw a card. Look at it this way. You have three lands. That's three cards making three mana. When you play a bounce land, you hit your fourth land drop and go up to four mana and still return a land to your hand. The next turn, you replay that land and you've generated five mana out of four cards. That's virtual card advantage because you don't need another land. Essentially, that land you returned is doing double duty. This led to people playing decks in the 13 or 14 land range despite the heavy multicolored environment because you could cheat on lands so well with these. A single basic and a couple bounce lands and you had five mana with three cards. They quickly surged up people's pick orders. Just uh, don't let anybody bounce them with like a clutch of the undercity or something. Mm, that's no fun. Speaking of returning things to your hand though, try to set up so you don't have to discard with these. If you play one on turn two and you're either going second or just playing commander, you'll have to discard. Not the end of the world, but you'll want to try and avoid it if you can. 17 years later, these cards have been printed many times, are commander staples, played because of their quirks in Modern and Amulet Titan, and they're back here in Double Masters 2022, where they're still awesome in Limited. If you get the chance to draft the format, you'll want to pick these highly. They're still great for all the same reasons, and given it's generally a three color or more format, you'll want the fixing. Now let's show off those sweet versions. Despite being such iconic cards, they've only ever had one artwork. So let's change that here. For each of the 10 bounce lands, there's a showcase version you can open up that is gorgeous. Get ready to bling out your cubes and commander decks. Okay, and for the five people playing Ravnica Constructed, you too. I'll talk with you on Monday with some more Double Masters 2022 previews. And until then, remember to put bounce lands in your commander decks. Seriously, don't cut them. They'll help you hit your land drops. Anyway, you got this. The team would need to solve some design challenges. How do you get enough spell effects in there? Well, unmorphed triggers like skin thinner could be removal, sure, and the provoke mechanic served as a form of creature removal too. But in a set full of creatures, the board was certainly going to get stalled. How could you break through? The team came back with the idea. 